Hey everybody, this is example number two for mechanics of materials covering strain transformation. The problem statement that we have is the differential element shown in the figure below experiences a state of plane strain. And here are the strain values. The strain in the normal x direction, epsilon x, is equal to negative 400 times 10 to the negative 6. The strain in the normal y direction, epsilon y, is equal to 200 times 10 to the negative 6. And the shear strain, gamma xy, is equal to 100 times 10 to the negative 6. And we need to find the principal strains at this point and the associated orientation of the element. So here's our figure of our undeformed element in green. And the dash red, uh, the dash red uh, shows the deformed element. And let me just label these axes, x and y. And this figure also shows the relationship between the deformation and the associated strains. The first thing we're going to do is find the orientation of the element. And this means we're solving, we need to find the orientation of the planes of the maximum and minimum normal strain. And we do this by, fi by finding the angles associated with the principal strain. So here's a formula. It's equal to tan of 2 times theta p, theta p meaning the angle associated with the principal strain, equals the shear strain divided by the strain in the x direction minus the strain in the normal y direction. And we just plug in the numbers. And before proceeding any further, it's important to note that this solution, that this equation will have two solutions we're solving for. And this will be more apparent as we move on. So we find that tan of 2 times theta p equals negative 1 over 6. So we're going to take the inverse tan and solve for 2 times theta p1 and 2 times theta p2. So, so 2 times theta p1 and 2 times theta p2, they're going to be 180 degrees apart. And we have these, as I mentioned earlier, this equation will have two solutions. And that's why we have this 2 times theta p1 and 2 times theta p2. Now we're going to solve for theta p1 and theta p2. And we find that theta p1 equals negative 4.73 degrees. And theta p2 equals 85.27 degrees. And just by looking at this, it's, it's pretty apparent that theta p1 is, gonna, is the angle between the original x-axis and the x-prime axis and theta p2 is the angle between the x-axis and the y-prime axis. And both of these angles are measured positive counterclockwise from the x-axis to the outward normals on each face of the element. And just to make it even more clear, here's what it looks like uh, graphically. So we have x and y, and this is the x-prime and y-prime. And so in green is the orientation that will lead, that's associated with the principal strains, the green coordinate system. And I also show the theta P1 and theta P2. Theta P1 is here and theta P2 is here. Next, we're going to calculate the principal strains uh, using this formula, the maximum and minimum principal strain. So. So it's equal to the normal strain in the x plus the normal strain in the y divided by 2 plus minus the square root of ex epsilon x minus epsilon y divided by 2 squared plus, plus gamma xy divided by 2 squared. We, just, we plug in the numbers and we find that epsilon 1, the principal strain maximum, is equal to 2.04 times 10 to the negative 4. And the minimum principal strain is equal to negative 4.04 times 10 to the negative 4. Now that we've calculated the principal strains, all that remains is we need to determine which of these two strains deforms the element in the x prime and y prime direction. So, so here are our two angles. 
negative 4.73 degrees and 85.27 degrees. And we showed graphically that this is this negative 4.73 degrees is the angle between the x and x prime axis. We're going to plug this angle into the strain transformation equation. We're going to plug this angle into here, the strain transformation equation, and here. And this will tell us which, uh, which, strain, which strain is associated uh, with the x prime direction. And we, we plug in the numbers for the strain values and the angle. And we find that and here we show that e, uh, the epsilon x prime is equal to negative 4.04 times 10 to the negative 4. So epsilon x prime equals negative 4.04 times 10 to the negative 4. And we go back to our principal strains. So here, epsilon 2, epsilon 2 is negative 4.04 times 10 to the negative 4. So our conclusion is that our conclusion is that the second principal strain, the minimum principal strain, is a strain that deforms the element in the x prime direction. And we also show this uh, graphically here. So we have our original coordinate system, and then we have the coordinate system asso associated with the principal uh, with the principal strains. We show theta p one and theta p2 and we also show that we had a contraction in the x direction and we had a lengthening in the y direction and this is the end of this example please subscribe to the channel like the facebook page at facebook.com slash engineering examples and also visit the website at engineeringexamples.net thanks